The 1.6 elemental mastery buff make electro reaction like overload and electric charge super and insanely good. Or does it really? Well, and that's what we're gonna explore today. You may have heard from a lot of people that elemental mastery buff is actually worthless for electro reaction still. And you are not understanding why they would say that when the damage is clearly a significant increase. The damage have definitely been increased by a lot. My level 80 official with about 750 elemental mastery is capable of outputting 10k per overload attack and about 6000 to 7000 for a electric charge attack. But damage was not the only issues. There are other issues with electro reaction that is holding electro reaction back, and that's what we're gonna look into it today. But before we do that, just like everyone else, I'm gonna remind you to subscribe and come follow me on my Twitch to hang out, and let's actually dive deep into it now. Let's start with everyone's favorite, Firework Chayo, which is Chayo, Fischl, and Beidou. And I'm gonna ask you a question right now, and see if you can answer me. Which character is currently triggering the electro charge reaction? Is it Fischl, is it Beidou, or is it Chayo? To understand that scenario, let's do an experiment. Apparently, I have Chayo, Beidou, and Fischl all at level 80, so they'll be doing the exact same damage at least at base. However, currently my Chao have 250 elemental mastery, while my Beidou have 0, and my Fischl have 750 elemental mastery. So how much damage would they respectively do? So currently, my Beidou can do about 1500, my Chao can do 4000 on an electric charge, and with my 700 EM Fischl, I do 7000 something damage. Oh, by looking at the damage amount, we should be able to tell who do the damage now, right? So let's see. Okay, here we park an electric charge, and we're doing about 4,000. So it's Chayo who is triggering the reaction. But then wait, we see a 7,000 here. This is official damage. Then here again, this is another official damage. On the next electric charge, we see another 4,000. So this is back to Chayo. And then moving on, we see another 4,000 to Chayo again. And the next electric charge here is actually triggered by Beidou, represented by the 1,000 something damage. As it turned out, when it comes to electric charge, the character that triggered it is very very random. And there's a major problem with elemental mastery, and that is, elemental mastery is only beneficial when you trigger reaction. And anytime that you do not trigger reaction, you lose any gain from elemental mastery. And so, when Fischl is not the character who is triggering electric charge, you do not get any benefit by building elemental mastery on Fischl's. However, there is an opportunity cost when you build elemental mastery. When you build elemental mastery, then you're not building attack percent, you're not building critical, and that means that your odds or your elemental skills, your elemental burst, is going to be doing so much less damage for potential like no gain at all because it's unclear that if Vichu is even proccing the elemental reaction. This is not an issue with three characters. Even when you're only using two characters, you can still see this happening a lot. For example here, you see a thousand damage from Yeezy, this is a Sing Chu's trigger, while well, only 200 damage here, which is a trigger by Lisa. So either you just build EM on both of them, and losing all your other damage on both of them, or you just don't build any EM. So, if electric charge is bad because the trigger is random, really overload where you can easily trigger it must be good, right? To that I say, wrong. Overload have its own problem and that is ICD. If you do not understand what ICD is, previously I made a video that explaining it here. However, it is exactly the reason why you should understand ICD because of stuff like this. Essentially, ICD determines when you can trigger a reaction. And what you will notice is that we're not triggering reaction every single hit. Here we start with a overload, and then no overload here, no overload again, and no overload again, and finally we're capable of doing another overload. And this is of course because of ICD. Once again, elemental mastery only benefit you when you can trigger a reaction. Anytime that you do not trigger a reaction, your 750 elemental mastery might as well as be zero. And once again, when you build elemental mastery, you're sacrificing on other stuff like attack and critical damage. So again, your talent is going to be losing out a lot of damage. At this point, maybe you start seeing a pattern on why elemental mastery is bad. It's not entirely because of the damage, it's just because of the way it works and it only benefit reactions. And this is even true when you have T6 Fischl. Truly, C6 Fischl lets you trigger reaction more often. However, notice that 
every time you trigger a reaction on Fischl, you actually get a lightning struck attack that scale with your attack as well. So in combination, even if you can trigger reaction, the fact that you cannot trigger it every single hit just means that you'll be losing out on damage and it's just not worth losing out on those damage for a reaction. That's not even kind of the fact that Overload will keep knocking mob away from you, making you lose even more DPS on the DPS uptime. So unless Overload does a million damage to make up for all the damage that you're losing everywhere else, it is just not worth building Elemental Mastery for Overload. The reason why Electro Reaction sucks is because of one word, consistency. Electric Charge can proc very consistently, but it's not easy to determine who is triggering it. On the other hand, while it is easy to determine who is triggering a overload, it is not very consistently triggered it. If you look at a Nemo character like Venti, he can easily and consistently trigger reaction and be the person who is triggering it, because a Nemo is always on top of another element. Similarly, for TF Bennett, I actually prefer to go Elemental Mashi Sands and Elemental Mashi Headpiece now, and the reason is because he can trigger it very consistently. Notice how he's triggering it every single second because his elemental skill only have a 1 second cooldown. Once you can satisfy those two requirements, elemental mastery actually become good and considerable. That's why Sucrose can build elemental mastery. That's why Venti can build elemental mastery. That's why Bennett can build elemental mastery. It's just that currently there are no electro character that satisfy that requirement. Both of those requirements at the very least. Except... Lisa... You see, Lisa can actually go Elemental Mastery and do a Overload build now. By doing a Pyro Infused Venti ult, you can proc a lot of Overload on Lisa. And this satisfies both of those requirements, being consistent and being the one who is triggering it. It's just that, do you really want to play Overload Venti Lisa? Well, so are Electro characters just forever bad and there's no saving grace for them? Well, that's not true at all. It is just Electro Reaction that is bad. Perhaps the character can still be good. For example, Beidou's Elemental Burst actually does a huge amount of damage. Beidou Elemental Burst have a 173 ratio, but what a lot of people do not understand is that Beidou actually hit 5 times on her Elemental Burst. I want you to take a look at these 26k number by Beidou and look at the frequency of them popping up. You notice how often the number is popping up. That is because Edo Burst hit for 5 times each. Here is the first hit, and then we can move on to the second and the third hit. You can see there's two numbers, and then finally to the fourth and the fifth hit. Once again, there's two number. Too many people just look at the single number that Beidou is doing, but does not realize that she's actually hitting that for 5 times in total. So the actual number, you actually have to multiply this by 5. So 22k multiplied by 5 is over 100k. She's doing 100k damage every hit. Oh yeah, and it's 100k like every time you do a normal attack because it triggers every time you hit a normal attack onto an opponent and then you did that lightning discharge. Huh. Despite being Electro, Beidou is probably one of the strongest characters in the game. It's just that people commonly do not understand how to properly play Beidou. Most assume that you should be playing Electro Reaction like Electric Charge when that is just not true. But what you should really be doing is just building raw damage and use the high scaling on Beidou or other Electro character to do damage. And that's what Electro character is made for. And don't worry, surely this patch did not buff Electro or Elemental Mastery on Electro character. But I'm sure at 1.7 or 1.8, with Inazuma coming out, Electro character is going to get some wonderful changes and an amazing buff. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope to see you guys next time as well. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.